Hi, I'm Priya Rao with First Weekend Club, and we are sitting here with Liz Marshall, the director of the film The Ghosts in Our Machine. You are nominated for four Canadian Screen Awards. That has to feel very exciting. Um, yes, so The Ghosts in Our Machine is nominated for four awards, and it's, it's a beacon of hope and, and uh, light mm -hmm. um, on the issue, actually. And the issue being the position or the how we view animals in our society if we're not considering them just as pets or as things that end up on our table or on our bodies. That's right. It's we. The film explores and poses the question, are animals um, property to be owned and used, mm -hmm. or are they um, feeling conscious beings uh, deserving of rights? Now, I remember when this movie came out that I was very interested in the subject matter. Because as a vegan, I noticed that whenever I say that I'm a vegan to anybody, they almost react defensively or sometimes with a bit of anger. Did you find that when you talked about what your film is about to people? Yes and no. I mean, I think the legacy of the film is that we really have succeeded in uh, reaching beyond the core audience. Mm -hmm. And our core audience um, is a global audience of vegans and animal advocates. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but we've really been able to extend far beyond that because of the the tone and, and the aesthetics and the story of the film is, uh, you know, very accessible. And I think people are um, more and more um, in society more and more interested, curious, and concerned um, about the topic mm -hmm. and, and the questions that it raises. Um, it's also uh, the way that it's made. It's not just an issue-based film. It's a, it's a story. It's about Joanne MacArthur. She's um, a photographer. Right. And it's through her lens, her photographic lens, that we access the lives of an entire cast of animals characters mm -hmm. around the globe. Now, you, you, you have said that as a documentarian and with this film and with others that you can find yourself engaged in the storyline but still keeping yourself critically removed. How do you balance those two? Yeah, um, I just do. Um, it's just That's become, it. it's my instinct. Yeah. So while I can feel uh, very engaged um, and connected to the subject, um, and also very committed to the journey of, on a personal level too, mm -hmm. to exploring a topic that is um, mostly hidden from our view and also um, of great moral significance and something that has been uh, historically very marginalized. And so I, I really um, am interested in the challenge of that mm -hmm. as a filmmaker. Um, and then the, being critically removed means to remember who our audience is and what the ultimate purpose and intention of the film is. Now, I will admit that I did not watch the movie for fear that it would be too hard for me to watch. Do you think that this is a movie that will be challenging for some viewers? Very. It's a, it's a gentle approach with a dramatic effect, and that was the intention. So it, it uses the power of cinematography, sound design, um, and, and incredible stories um, of individual animals and Joanne MacArthur herself um, to reveal these realities for the viewer. And what is it that you hope, it's almost like the sun went down as we were talking about that, <laughs> fascinating. Uh, what is it you hope viewers will come away with after watching this movie? Maybe, you know, whether they are animal activists in their own right or not. So the, the, the goal uh, is to remove people's blinders because we all wear them, collectively speaking. Uh, we, you know, we don't see or acknowledge or um, even think about the billions of animals that are used um, around the globe every year uh, for our food, for our entertainment, for our clothing, and for biomedical research. So it, it's to remove people's blinders so that people become more conscious and aware. 
Well, I hope that, uh, that many people get to watch this. I know that they've missed the theatrical release. However, is there a way that they can watch it online? Absolutely. So um, we're on iTunes. We're on Rogers On Demand. Documentary Channel is the commissioning editor um, here in Canada. So it, they, they you know screen it every so often um, on their channel. And um, you can buy our DVD. Um, check out our website, theghostsinourmachine.com, for lots more information. Well, it's an important subject matter, so I hope that many of you people out there will watch it if you haven't already. And good luck, Liz, at the awards. We'll be rooting for you. Thank you.